Hi there, internet commenter. You've been sent a link to this video because someone is concerned that you might not be arguing your case to your utmost ability. They're concerned you might have used a fallacy to make an important point, thus defeating your own claim. The fallacy they're concerned you might have used is the no true Scotsman fallacy. The no true Scotsman fallacy calls into question the purity or actualness of something as a way to refute an argument. Usually it works like this. You claim some set of things has a universal characteristic. Someone then provides an exception to the rule, making your claim universal no longer, and then you respond by saying, well, only true things in that set possess that characteristic. The No True Scotsman's user defends their claim based on a reactionary, subjective notion of what category something belongs in, or to what degree that thing truly belongs in that category. Classically, No True Scotsman is used to exclude bad actors from a group. Anthony Flew, who coined this fallacy, described a Scotsman who, upon learning that one of his countrymen committed a violent act, said, no true Scotsman would do such a thing. However, there are a couple what you might call versions of No True Scotsman. One of them has to do with in-group maintenance, claiming that no true gamer, comic book reader, Republican, or feminist would say or believe a certain thing. This tactic avoids confronting a counter-argument by saying the person who exhibits it is not truly the thing they claim, and so the exception they provide is null and void. No True Scotsman also works to exclude ideas and objects, not just people. For example, Mike and Straw Mike are talking about video games. All video games must have clearly stated goals and a win-lose condition. Gone Home doesn't have either of those things, and it's a video game. Right, but Gone Home is not a true video game. The more productive conversation would be, what happens to the category of video game when we consider Gone Home part of it? Or to discuss what about the category of video game, for Straw Mike at least, absolutely requires that it have clearly stated goals and win-lose conditions. Instead, the conversation is stopped dead in its tracks because the entire point hinges upon one side's subjective sense of what is and is not truly whatever. And now we're just arguing opinion which will only ever end in Godwin's Law. You Scots sure are a contentious people. You just made an enemy for life! I hope this description of the no true Scotsman fallacy has been helpful. Happy conversing.